So a random Sunday video for you, just an idea to chew on. We'll uh, we'll do it outside today. I'm gonna see if old Smiley here. This is Jess's horse. We'll see if he'll come up to us, and uh, I'll share the idea. Let's see if he's gonna come up to us. He's he's hanging out. He usually comes into the barn at night. If you're if you're curious about his little muzzle there, it's because uh, he is what's called an easy keep, and right now there's too much sugar. What's up, buddy? There's too much sugar in the um, in the grass, and if he eats too much of it, he will founder, which is something that bad happens to his feet. It's kind of interesting. So he's got this one brown eye, and he's got this one blue eye. Such a handsome horse here. I was trying to film the video over there, but Smiley was like, just like he was in my face. He was like, "Hey, you're over here. Hey, pay attention to me." Um, but the idea that I've been, I've been chewing on it came from um, the Lex Friedman podcast. I really like his podcast. He has a lot, a lot of cool guests on, and he was speaking with this philosophy teacher um, who sort of talked about this. Uh, situation with the jazz musicians and if you guys have watched the channel long enough you know that I'm I like jazz and I also I love listening to musicians in general but anybody any artist in their craft how they go about it their thought process or mindset um, like there's one that I always quote on the channel which is from Charlie Parker which is you master the music you or master the instrument you master the music and then you forget all that and you just play music which he's kind of getting at the improvisation associated associated with jazz which I think is a really useful idea to take over to jiu-jitsu because so much of what we do at a certain point you know we spend so much time trying to master these techniques and these rules and these lessons and then eventually you're just playing around and you're just going off a of feel and you're improvising a lot so in this story that he this professor and i'll include the link to the podcast below but in this story that the professor talked about it was with i guess i think it was herbie hancock and miles davis so herbie's playing the piano miles was playing the trumpet Herbie plays, at one point, plays the wrong chord, plays the wrong note. And Miles pauses for a second and then immediately goes on playing and he plays in such a way that he just goes with it, that he goes with the wrong note and ends up making it sound like it belonged, right? He played the wrong note the right way. And the, you know, the philosophy teacher, which I enjoyed listening to, sort of spun it into this idea of how we make our choices and how we make our choices correct, right? Which I thought was a, just a cool one to listen to. But again, that's such a useful idea to take to jiu-jitsu, and it's analogous to life, right? I mean, with jiu-jitsu, a lot of us who have competed have run into a situation where you go in with this game plan, you're going to do this, 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 and this, and then you make a mistake. Or your opponent does something that throws a wrench into things, right? And then you have to play off that. And if you play off that mistake that you made or their their reaction to whatever, if you play it right, you might still win, right? It'll base, It'll determine your performance. And when we train, a lot of times when we make mistakes and we do something wrong, the way that we respond to those things is going to determine how good we're going to get, right? And even with, um, in my own life experience, looking back at things, when a lot of times the outcomes turn out to be positive, a lot of times it's the way that I played the mistakes along the way, right? You know, a lot of times we look at things as good and bad. A lot of times the bad things that happen to us end up being good things long term, but in the early part, they're not fun. But a lot of the things that I think are cool, that I'm proud of, a lot of the things that I would share with you guys that you think are cool, typically those have happened in that same way where something happened and the way I responded to it in the long term made it the correct choice or the or made the right path. And so I thought it was an interesting idea, right? You know, the way that you kind of roll with the, the punches, so to speak, is going to determine what's going to happen long term. Again, it's not like it's not breaking any, not breaking ground on any like profound ideas, but it's just one that I've been thinking about. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. And again, I'll include that podcast link down below if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, so just a random Sunday video from here on the, the little mini jujitsu farm. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.